I don't do this for the money. I do it because I love it. I have a passion for it. And I just picked up a brush one day and I was hooked. I was hooked from the first time. I absolutely believe it's an art form. I've seen so many people that think they can do it and they'll go out and they'll buy the brushes and that and they just can't do it. I pinstripe every night, whether it's on a car or on an art panel, dishes, whatever, I'm always practicing. My name's Andy Kawahara and I'm a pinstriping artist. I like pinstriping because it's organic. It's, it's an actual art form. It's something you can't just program into a computer and have it cut out a pattern for you. You have to sit and think about it and it takes skill. It's, I, th I think that's the biggest thing is like the art itself. I think in general, most of the old time pinstripers really support the young guys. When I was first starting out, I had some of the pinstriping masters that were like my biggest fans, you know, pats on the back, good job. And it's, it's important to be supportive of the new artists because I don't want to see this art form die completely. I'd like to keep it alive. The vinyl industry has killed business for sign painters, pinstripers. Every ad that you see now, you know, billboard, billboards were hand painted 10 years ago, 20 years ago, you know, and now it's all vinyl. Like there's, there was a huge industry for sign painting in and of itself. Every storefront window, you know, everything was painted. There's still a few hardcore followers of like the pinstriping artists and the sign painters that want it still done by hand. So. You know, if you're, if you're talking to like an old time hot rodder, they've got nothing but the utmost respect for you because it is so hard to find a pinstriper. If you're talking to anybody from the new generation, most of them kind of give you that like quizzical look and ask, what's pinstriping? <laughs> You know, during the like whole custom car movement of the late 50s and early 60s, if you built a hot rod, it had stripes on it. Like that was just, that was one of the things that it had, you know. And I think people slowly moved away from that. They started going to like a more clean design, you know, everything shaved, one color monochromatic paint schemes. and Anybody that like, stayed true to the custom, still used it, but it, it definitely died out. I had art classes from the time I was in kindergarten all the way up through college, and the college classes kind of covered the pinstriping because it's an actual American art form. It was born here in the States, and it spread worldwide. I'd just like to tell everybody, anybody that's interested in it to try it. It's, it's not as intimidating as it seems. If, if you're a creative person and you take pride in your work, pinstriping might be for you.